how to get rid of scar tissue on your face. You can see right now that I have actually a little bit of a bruise on my eye. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, I got hit in the eye with a racquetball not too long ago. And so I've still got a little bit of bruising if you're noticing that on my eye. In any case, people want to know all the time, how do I get rid of scar tissue on my face? One of the biggest challenges of having scar tissue on your face is that it is you. It's you in the world, you've got your face, and it's hard to go into the world when you've got a big line running down your face and not feel like people are looking at you or judging you. And so there's a lot of emotional issues that are tied up with scar tissue and scarring when it happens anywhere visible, but especially on your face because it's just a difficult place to hide. And so there's a few things that you can do uh, in order to make sure that you're improving the speed of the healing of the scarring on your face, regardless of whether that has come from some sort of accident or some kind of surgery. Perhaps you had a facelift and you've got scarring. I mean, the facelift scars go right underneath the chin, um, but a lot of times they end up very visible right along the side of the face as well. So how do you heal scar tissue on your face? Well, you heal scar tissue in much the same way on your face as you do on other parts of your body. And uh, a couple of techniques that we like to use a lot of times are skin rolling. And skin rolling basically is where you just take the skin, so this is the skin on my hand, and I'm picking it up off of the underlying tissue, and I'm just rolling it. So if you were to do that on your face, let's say you wanted to do that on your cheek, you would grab your cheek here, and you would just roll the skin. Now, one of the challenges of that is that if you've got a scar, a lot of times you'll have an adhesion underneath the scar tissue, and so, or the scar tissue is actually connected to the tissue underneath, and so it's hard to pull that skin. So you may not, at first, be able to grab the skin all that easily, but over time, you'll be able to do more and more skin rolling, so you'll be able to just actually grab that skin and start pulling it. And you can take just five minutes a day and just grab little bits of the skin on your face. If you've got a scar, you can just work it really small um, and just grab it as much as you can and just do skin rolling. The other technique, we actually have four or five major techniques that we cover. I'm just going to cover a couple of them in the video here. But the other technique we use is uh, what I call the point and prick method. You want to be careful when you're using the point and prick method, uh, but you can use something like tweezers or even a, a twist tie, something you have around that has a point on it, but you've got to be careful about it because obviously if you've got scarring underneath your eye or somewhere on your face, you've got a lot of important features on your face that you want to take care of. But you'll want maybe to use a mirror, and in the mirror then you can see yourself and you can just do little uh, pointing and pricking methods so basically you're just barely touching the skin and seeing what kind of sensation you have in the skin. You could use a pair of tweezers as well. You're not pinching with the tweezers, you're just using it to touch and see the nerve sensations at first. All you're doing is seeing if you have nerve sensation. If you do have nerve sensation, that's great. You're going to want to try and increase the nerve sensation that you have by adding additional pressure. but. It should be maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but never painful. So you don't need to inflict pain on yourself to have this work. In any case, what you're going to do is just work the scar in a very tiny way, just by pointing and pricking just a little bit very lightly and seeing what kind of nerve sensation you have. Now, if you have nerve sensation around your scar, but not on the scar itself, go to where you have nerve sensation and take that nerve sensation and work it across the scar so you go from having nerve sensation to not having nerve sensation. So let's pretend that this tweezers is the scar and I've got nerve sensation maybe out here outside of the tweezers. I'm going to take and just go from outside to inside. So working like this, working across the skin and the goal is to increase the circulation and the nerve sensation actually into the scar tissue by encouraging your circulation system to grow back into the scar. That is my recommendations for healing scar tissue on your face. And if you'd like to get some more tips about healing scar tissue or how to heal scarring not only on your face but in other parts of your body, you can come and visit us at HealingScarTissue.com.